right, boys, the halfback position just got two absolute juggernauts at the top of it. We obviously have some other cards, and I do think the meta is shifting a little bit in running backs. In my last top 10, I did rank guys that had built-in X-Factors a little bit higher than guys that had, like, infinite, a, a bunch of zero AP abilities, basically. But now that we have secure tacklers on, like, every DB, secure tacklers on every D-lineman, safety, literally every position on the field, I think there are guys that are creeping up on the list while we also got some new guys at the top as well. But if you guys enjoy top 10s like this, make sure you hit that like, hit the subscribe, and let's just jump right into number 10 here. If you are looking for cheap, fast Madden coins to build that God Squad you always wanted, head over to my sponsor, Easy Mutt, and use code CHU for 5% off your order. The link is in the description. So at number 10, I still think Dickerson is one of the best running backs in the game. He has, I say it every single time I do a top 10, he has the perfect build in game. He's tall. He gets the best juke moves. He's obviously really good statistically, even though he came out a while ago. He still has 80 plus catching too. I'm telling you, this card was so far ahead of his time. And you guys know, he still has good abilities. All Although, I will say the one negative with him is, is that he doesn't really get X-Factors because you do get turned off on these. Everybody has Aiden Hutchinson. And when I make this video, I am assuming everybody has Aiden Hutchinson. But Eric Dickerson, without X-Factors, I still think is really good. Like I said, I don't value X-Factors as much as I used to. Or a guy like, you know, William Perry or AJ Dillon would be here. But I would rather have the movement and the ability to actually be a good running back without the X-Factor while also having, like, you know, a good build and good abilities, which he gets tank for one, which I love. Human joystick right there already built, and you get jukebox and evasive. So for one AP, you get four abilities, and it's the four meta running back abilities. The only thing he is missing is literally an X-Factor. But like I said, that is such a minimal impact nowadays with tackle supremes and secures literally everywhere on the field. Number nine, we got Franco Harris, and I was super high on him last time. I will say it is really, really annoying that to make this card valuable or at least make him worth it, you do gotta put some time and effort into making his ability or his speed go up to 99. So you gotta build like the baby theme teams or at least use like the boosters from the theme team all-stars or whatnot. That's annoying. But when you get past that point, he is still very good. He has an amazing build as well. Six foot two, 230, very similar to Eric Dickerson out there. He has 99 carrying, very good catching. He's an amazing statistic card. He is kind of a weird card too because he's probably better as a utility guy, but I feel like he is good enough to be a running back to where I can place him on this list because he does have Freight Train built in for one. And then in his two zero eight speed spots, you got Jukebox and Tank. You could use Trust for one, but I'd probably just use Tank right there. I mean, he still has amazing abilities. I, it's just so hard to rank him any higher because he is 96 speed. But if you could boost that up, I definitely could see him being hush, much higher on the list. But I base these off non theme team bases, as you know. Number eight, we got Thurman Thomas, who is another guy that I feel like a lot of people are sleeping on. I don't know if it just doesn't carry a lot of name value with the younger audience that play a lot of this game or what it is, but I never see Thurman Thomas out there. I don't even think I even see him in Bill's team teams because there's another Bill's running back on this list who is also amazing, but he is very good. I mean, look at the stats. 94 catching is insane. 97 carrying. Obviously, the speed and everything is amazing, but when we come to abilities, he does have Truss built in, which is really, really weird because it's kind of like the opposite of tank right like you can't force like a hit stick fumble on them but you could still get ripped if they spam rb but when you pair truz with the running backs ability and also 97 carrying i feel like he shouldn't fumble at all out there but regardless you want to see that or tank and he has it which is nice yak him up for one is kind of like how an x factor is for the running back like freight train or whatnot it's just not as cool anymore although it is really cool on a running back it's not as good because like i said there's tackling abilities everywhere but i still love his zero aps he has tank and evasive I mean, these two, or actually, you don't need Tank on him because he does have Truss. I'd probably just use Tank and Energizer here. So you can spam the Juke all game. You're not going to fumble around. He's actually very, very good, dude. I actually think this card is amazing. Super slept on for sure. At number seven, we have Jamal Charles, who is going up on my list despite not having an X-Factor. And there's a reason why the Crucible promo, they came with great stats, obviously. 99 speed. He is also very good when it comes to catching the carrying. I believe he's also an amazing route runner at 95. The reason why I value Jamal Charles a lot more than other cards that have built-in X-Factors that you can't counter with like A. Hutchinson is because... He has like infinite zero AP abilities, which is really, really insane when you think about it. So you have what, five zero APs and four of them you could choose from. One of them is first one free, which I will say is a little meh. But the one thing that's good about first one free is it actually counters um, secure tackler. They need tackle supreme to not get countered by first one free, which is actually really cool because not everybody has the tackle supreme as well. But I will say it is nice that he does have tank right there in that bucket. I believe he gets that right, 90 plus trucking. No, he does not get tanked. I swear somebody told me he got tanked in the last bucket. But regardless, I still like him because all the infinite abilities you can get. You can get evasive out here. You can get route tech on him. And then obviously you can get like 
I don't know. You could. I don't even know what else I would throw on him. I do like human joystick too. I'm trying to think of like the fourth ability though. What would I go here? I'd probably end up going like probably grab and go with the pair up with the route tech. Regardless, I love cards that get infinite abilities and you could choose your own accustomed too. Jamal Charles is a dog. One of the better game plays recorded of the year as well. I remember it. At number six, we have Jamal Charles, but I would say with better abilities and perhaps a better build. Six foot one, 220. Although I think some people prefer the smaller running backs for like squeezing through the holes and whatnot. Six to one is just so much better when it comes to like, all, for example, perfect example right here. Man routes or man is super popular right now. Wheel routes is one of the best beating things with man. And you want to throw high balls on wheel routes over their defender's head. Aaron Foster, 6-1. Perfect right there. But when we come to abilities, I like him literally because, yes, he also gets infinite abilities. He gets zero, three zeros right here, all the same one. So the best three is probably any sort of these four, I guess, whatever one you prefer. I think Energizer and Evasive and then either Route Tech or Human Joystick, whatever you want. But then on top of that, boys, he gets Tank and then another zero. I guess you can just go Human Joystick right here. He is insane. Yeah, literally all of his abilities are zero. So he's basically... Just a more crack Jamal Charles. And I definitely think you can rank him a little bit higher. I just think the no X factor thing. Although, I don't know. It's so tough to say. Because some people say they don't really play too much Aiden Hutchinson's and also Secures. But in other people's lobbies in ELO or their matchmaking, I guess you could say, you literally can't get an X factor playoff at all. So, it's really hard to rank a, a guy like Arian Foster on this list. It depends on what your matchmaking is, I guess. Number five, I have to go to Mutt.gg because some reason, Sean Alexander, who's been in the game now for almost a month, basically almost a month, a month, like, it's been like three weeks, and he still does not have a card in the catalog. But I will say there is one blaring negative with him, and it's very similar to Franco's. 97 speed is an L, but he also is a card that I feel like is amazing in the game because he gets a multiple zero APs that are amazing. He gets first one free right there built into his card. Card. And then when we come down here, he also gets trust, which I will say those are very good with how the meta works. Like I said, not everybody has uh, tackle supreme. A lot of people are using secure tackle. And he also gets trust, which is basically a form of tank to where then you can run angry runs and evasive and feel absolutely perfect down here. I, I think three X factors built into one and also having your X factors, although you're spending two AP is insane. That's a lot of AP for a running back nowadays, but where else he's spending the extra AP at. I think this is a really cool card, a different card in the game. It's the only negative is that he's a little on the slower and you probably got to boost him up a little bit. And at number four, we got Mr. Marshawn Lynch, AKA Beast Mode in the game. This guy is the one I think you could argue him and number three and him are very interchangeable. I think one and two are on a tier of their own, but three and four are very interchangeable depending on what you like, I guess. But 99 speed, 99 trucking, 99 break tackle. The one negative with him is that he has 72 catching, but in a game where gift wrapped almost feels like, I don't want to say necessity, but almost a necessity it doesn't really matter you're gonna be catching everything with him regardless that isn't ko'd but marshawn lynch obviously comes with great abilities one ap tank and his two zero ap's is freight train and either or i guess evasive or trust you definitely want your evasive on there but these two are alongside tank with how marshawn lynch plays in game this year it's an amazing combo he is amazing a game and one of the most popular running backs for a reason dude at number three, we got Mr. Walter Payton. I mean, I think Walter Payton, honestly, it's, if you look back at my couple of lists, I've kind of intertwined those guys like back and forth, back and forth multiple times. I don't know where to rank them. I think they're both amazing. But Walter Payton, I think having Tank built in while also, I think, yeah, like, like I said, Tank is a big deal right now. I think you absolutely need Tank. But he also comes with great abilities too. One AP route tech, and then on top of that, you get angry runs, which is a little bit better than Freight Train because it works after the catch too, and then evasive. So it's not really that much of a different card. You might be a little bit worse statistically when it comes to speed and whatnot. You are better catching and whatnot, but... And they're very similar. Like I said, very, very interchangeable. It's really nitpicky stuff with the three and four, but both amazing in the game regardless. At number two, we have literally Marshawn Lynch's twin. If you guys have seen this card in game, he looks like he's exactly Marshawn Lynch. They're both the exact same number, same exact player build, same hair, all in game. He's insane though. He is absolutely... I would like to say a must-have, especially when you're doing your rookie premieres regardless. Unless you have infinite coins, you probably should have him over the number one guy. But 99 speed, 96 excel, 97 agility. I will say I have not really seen the agility or excel really matter, not being 99. But 99 carries nothing to... I mean, that is amazing. You're not going to fumble. these 99 basically every other stat besides catching. But like I said, also with our... With our uh, gift draft, he's going to be fine. But having Freight Train built in is amazing. And then on top of that, so he's basically what I want to say, a Jamal Charles Arian Foster, but with Freight Train as well. Because look at the zero APs, boys. Yeah. 
He literally gets everything. So you're getting an X Factor while also getting everything. One of the more relevant X Factors. Jonathan Brooks is insane. I think this card's a must-have in the game. Like I said, you probably should be working on your RPs for Madden 25. And this is a good card once you get him to actually keep him as well because how good he truly is in the game. I think him and our number one guy are tiers above everybody else. And at number one, we got our big dog, Jameer Gibbs. I just did a game plan on this card recently. He is amazing. I think this is one of the more fun cards in the game and arguably my best running back gameplay of the year. I feel like I say that a lot, but it was insane. Jameer Gibbs is 99 in basic labor stat. The carrying's very good above 9. I mean, 94 is really, really good. You still. And then uh, the catching above 92. Also a great route runner. The one thing I will, and 98 short running is ridiculous, by the way. And you can see the one thing I like about him, two zero APs built in for X Factors. You're getting Freight Train, Energizer, and also first one free, which like I said, counters saw uh, well not tackles frame the other one uh secure tackler which is really really nice and then look on top of that yeah yeah he's literally brooks but with other x factors all zero ap's across the board this card is ridiculous i think he's he might be arguably a tier above brooks as well because of the other x factors built in this dude's insane, man. Jameer Gibbs must have running back if you want the top tier guys at every position in the game. Boys, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure to comment down below which cards are which running back or running backs on this list are you using right now on your team. I'm personally using Brooks because I finished my rookie premiere right there, and he's been amazing for me. But I hope you guys enjoyed the top 10. I hope to see you guys in the next one. Peace out, boys.